what is the measure of a man's life? Is it how the world sees him? Or is it how he sees himself? We spend so much time, especially when we're younger, trying to get other people to approve of how we are, what we do, what we become, what we have. But as we get into older age, we realise that's not so important. What's important is how we see ourselves. Are we an acceptable person to ourselves? This is very important. So what is doing the evaluating? Certainly not the ego self that sought to present itself to the world in favourable terms. No, it's something else. It's something within. It's the real self. Which brings me to this poem, which I'd saved onto my pictures some time ago. It's written by a man called, well, his name's been chopped off the bottom of the sheet. But I think you'll realise what he's getting at here. Here's the poem. When you get what you want in your struggle for self, and the world makes you king for a day. Then go to the mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it isn't a man's father, mother or wife whose judgment upon him must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in life is the man staring back from the glass. He's the fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he's clear with you to the end. And you've passed your most dangerous, difficult test if the man in the glass is your friend. You can fool the whole world down the pathway of years, and get pats on your back as you pass. But the final reward will be heartache and tears if you've cheated the man in the glass. Obviously a poem written by somebody with a great deal of insight, probably in his later years. I just thought I'd read that out to you, because at 86, I'm an old guy now, and I can look back on my own life and think to myself, have I cheated the man in the glass? That's a decision I have to make. And when your time comes, you have to make 